morning, Matt Soper here, Hampshire carnivorous plants. And this morning we're gonna look at pygmy sun juice, uh, their gamay, how to collect them and grow them. Now this is a phenomenon that happens to pygmy sun juice every year. And here on the nursery, we normally get these sort of November, towards the end of November time. And the gamay are these small, almost like scales in the center of the plant. Can you see them on this Rosiana plant here? And again here on this giant Scorpioides form. And this is the one I'm going to demonstrate with because it's got very large gamay and they're very easy to collect. And hopefully it'll be as clear as possible to show you what I do with them. So firstly, I've got a sheet of uh, white paper here. And we'll start with this one on the edge, this plant here. And if you can see here, just by gently pulling them to one side and again they will literally just fall off the centre of the crown of the plant. Can you see that there? They're really big these ones compared with a lot of pygmy sun juice. And again here. There we go. And there's another one here. Now to be honest looking at this plant is a bit early because I can see a lot of the other crowns will produce gamay over the next few weeks. But I'm doing this now to show you what I do and how I collect them and how we sow them. So I don't normally store these, I, I normally sow these straight away. So there they are there. Now I will have a go with this Rosiana. As I said, these have got much smaller gamay. Again, on one side, you've got to loosen these a bit. Look at these, see? Look at the difference. Now, a lot of these have fallen down around the parent plant. Not to worry, because these will come up and grow next year. Unlike seed, I find virtually every single one of these grows. They don't germinate, they're not seed. They all grow. In fact, you could write your name with them, and they would come up. So, let's have a look. Put them together. That's Drosera rosiana, and that's a giant form of Scorpioides. Now, then you can see they're sort of like a half orange shape, and they're better to be planted with the half round side down. So what we're going to do, we'll plant a few on here. I've got some of our Com one in a nine centimetre pot, standing on some capillary matting. Let's take a few of the gamay. Bring them lightly on the top. Press them down a little bit. And that's all you need to do. Put a few more on there. That's it. Stand them in a tray on some damp capillary matting. And in about three or four weeks, they will start to germinate. If you wanted to keep them for next season, you could put them in a, a sealed envelope, pop them in the fridge where the eggs go, and leave them there, and you could sow them the following spring. I find here, in the unheated greenhouse, they are fine this time of year. They will start to grow, then stop, and then they get going again next spring. Um, it may not be the ideal way of growing them, but it works for me. I've done it many years like that. But as I say, some people do store them and sow them in the spring. And I would like to say that, as I said earlier, unlike seed, every one of these will grow. These will all, all grow and produce small plants. It's also a very good idea to do this because I find some of the pygmy sun juice, not all, but some of them, once they've produced their gamay, the plant can sometimes die. So it's a good way of keeping your plants going. So anyway, I hope that's been helpful. If you can see them on there. And uh, why not have a go at uh, growing some of your own from Gemme? It's well worth a try. Thanks for watching.